if we, if we want. So we are in part five. So now time to create the to do, but in the API. So we're gonna have some kind of uh, of uh, like uh, save. <laughs> so that's gonna we don't need to always create. So here inside the DB, we have already some to do. So now uh, we're gonna just make it as an empty um, uh, array first. So the thing uh, we're gonna do, it's inside my source finally. I'm gonna create a, uh, a folder called util. Inside this one, I'm gonna create a, a EP, like a, another folder called API. And in this one, I'm gonna create my uh, to do api.js. So that's gonna be why I'm gonna do my abstraction of my API. It's gonna be much more easy for us after that to work with Redux. So here we're gonna import Axios from Axios. So Axios is the library for make uh, a request. After that, here what we're gonna do is I'm gonna create my class uh, to do API like that. And inside this one, I'm gonna create a constructor. And I'm gonna create this that path, and I'm gonna create a slash to dos. So this way, it's easy to have multiple. Uh, uh, kind of uh, value for uh, axios etc. So here, like uh, inside this to do here, my class to do, I'm gonna have after that here, I'm gonna create an async function. So async, it's a new ES seven uh, ES seven feature. It's just better than premises or uh, callback for me. So create to do here. We're gonna take uh, an argument. And finally, we're gonna have a try catch where the catch, if we have an error, we're gonna return the error. But here, the catch is gonna be const data, gonna be equal to await axios that post http localhost ed ed slash to do's. <coughs> but, <coughs> sorry, but we don't need a to do because we have it in the constructor like that. So here I can uh, put this that path with a, uh, like that, so because you have the slash. But again, Axios gave us a, a way to make Axios that defaults that base URL, and now I'm gonna paste my ADD. So by default, Axios is gonna toggle this, and now what I can do is just remove this and remove that, and now. We need to send an object, and the object gonna the, be the args. After that, here I'm gonna return my data. I think I break something somewhere. It's okay, or looks why I get <coughs> here my async, my class constructor to class to do here my constructor here my async. Okay, here I have so oh, here. Sorry, I'll make a typo. That's uh, the beauty of live code. After that, I'm gonna already create my get all, get all to do. Another try catch. Here I'm gonna read. Oh, I'm gonna return e, and here I'm gonna do the same. But now that's gonna be a get. And no arcs need. Perfect. So now here I get all and I create. So now here I'm gonna export default new to do API. So I don't need to uh, like create my class. So finally, what I can do now it's inside my uh, to do action here. At the top, I'm gonna import to do API from util API to do API. Yeah, like that. So now when I create a to do, I want to toggle my API, but I also want to fulfill my uh, Redux in a way to make it like real time. So the way you can handle this, it's with Redux tongue, you have no access to the dispatch method. So the dispatch, it's a way to do a sync uh, dispatch method with Redux. So here, what I'm gonna do, it's I'm gonna copy paste this thing three times and I'm gonna success. 
and finally this one I'm gonna do uh, error so you're gonna see what I, I'm gonna do here inside my create to do here I'm gonna do dispatch and I'm gonna uh, dispatch my uh, type of create to do after that I'm gonna have a try catch where here if I have an error I'm gonna return my dispatch of type create to do error and my error here inside my try what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna do cons data equal and here what I'm gonna do is equal uh, await because we have the async here await to do API oops to do API dot create to do and now I'm gonna put my text but I want the, the, the this to be as an object so I'm gonna put here inside curly bracket like that and now here finally when it's done I'm gonna return a dispatch of uh, type create to do success and with my text but this way it's not the best way because the thing is uh, we're gonna uh, you're gonna see so I'm gonna show you first thing in the reducer all that gonna looks like so I'm gonna say create to do error and create to do success I'm gonna use the formatter prettier perfect so here inside the create to do I'm gonna have a case create to do success and I'm gonna have a case create to do error so now I need to change the way uh, and all my to do and everything. So now another good thing to do is do const initial state. Here I'm gonna have my to dos I'm gonna be an empty array. Or uh, what I like it's to have data. So I'm gonna have my error is gonna be nil. And after that I'm gonna have a is fetch it so false. So it's gonna be a way to show a loading. After that, here inside the create to do, so here we're gonna need to change a lot, a lot of stuff here. So now what we're gonna do here, we're gonna do add initial state. So here the create to do. Oh, we're gonna create a new to do now. Create to do gonna be now. So this function it's called when that starts. So what we want here is to uh, just uh, return uh, for now, just return the state. When you have a success, we want to return. Uh, dot 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 state so we're gonna keep the state as er right now we're gonna have is fetch to be true so it's fetch so that means it's uh, it's uh, it's uh, has been done and after that we are gonna have uh, data so the to do we're gonna have so data gonna be equal to dot 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 state dot data and we're gonna have the action that uh, action that uh, not going to be the text now, it's going to be the data. So, action that data like that <coughs> in the success. So, this way, but now here inside my action, now I need to make my UUID stuff because the thing it's um, uh, uh, finally the, the, the reducer don't they're going to tell you yet. So, now it's a good place to put it inside the API here UUID from UID before now we're gonna change finally the create to do here I have my arc so here what I'm gonna do finally it's I'm gonna do text gonna be equal to args that text after that, I'm gonna have ID equal to UID like that and complete to be false by default on that perfect so now here what I'm going to create a new to do and I'm going to re return here, I'm going to re uh, return with the, the text and everything. So now here inside my uh, reducer that's what we're going to do action that, that uh, like that. <coughs> After that here what we can already toggle to as an action it's now going to be the fetch to do because now we need to fetch every to do because we don't receive the to do by default. So now here I'm going to create another stuff and call fetch to do's like that. This one is going to be fetch to do success. And this one is going to be fetch to do error. So then I'm going to create a function called export function fetch to do's. Return 
an async dispatch like this. Default, we're going to dispatch type of fetch to do. After that, here I'm going to have a track catch. Here, if I have an error, I'm going to return dispatch type of fetch to do error and my error. Finally, here, what I'm going to do is const data going to be equal to await to do API that get all to do. And finally, I'm going to return a dispatch with the type of uh, fetch to do success and my data. So now we're going to get all the to do coming from the API. So now that's that's big, that's why here we have this thing. So now here, what I'm going to do is at the top, I'm going to fetch to do, fetch to do error, and fetch to do success. Here, I'm going to create a case called fetch to do. Here I'm going to return, return the state. Then I'm going to have a fetch to do success. I'm going to return my data equal to action that data because now it's an array. So we have an empty array. We're going to receive an array. And uh, is fetch to be true? So it's done. So fetch is done. That 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 state here. Here I forget to make the error. Error gonna be equal to action that error, and that's gonna be almost the same for fetch to do error. Command shift D. Perfect. So this way, but now this that perfect to do that not perfect. So now we're gonna need to change inside the app all that gonna uh, be uh, do. First thing we need to fetch the uh, we need to get the fetch to do action right there. After that here I'm gonna change my this that props here. So what we can do is we can create a um, function for a, a to do component because now we're gonna start to have a lot of stuff. So we're gonna create a folder called component. We're gonna put the to do that JS. Here we're gonna have, that's gonna be a, that's gonna be a per function. So we're gonna do export default function to do. We're gonna like that, and we're gonna return. So finally, we're gonna copy paste what we have here, but we don't need the key ID here. We're gonna have the text. We're gonna destructuring the text, and uh, just for now, we're gonna remove all the action. We're gonna get some bugs. <coughs> Same here, like that, like that. So now here I can import. So import to do from to do inside component. So here I'm gonna map over here, and now that's gonna be just a to-do. It's gonna be much more simpler and less code to write. So here I'm gonna just say to-do. Here what I can say is dot 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 to-do, so I'm gonna destructuring everything. I'm gonna show you what they do in the next episode, this thing here. I'm gonna put a key of to-do dot id. But now, again, we have the same problem, because this that props that map is not working, so that's gonna be this that props that data that map. But now that's, we're gonna have nothing because the data is empty. We need to fetch the API first. So that's gonna be a good place to do this in the component in mouse. So we're gonna call this that props the fetch to do. So if I do this, look what can happen in the console. I get fetch to do, and now I get fetch to do success. So I get my data and I get my data coming from the back end. So, and because the back end have nothing, so I have nothing. I received nothing. That's why. So now uh, UUID inside to do action. To do so. So I don't need any more UUID here. Perfect. So now I want to uh, add the the like the new to do for uh, for uh, when I create here the to do. So now what I can do is if I start to here hello, 
and I uh, make uh, click enter. Now I get I get create to do. So I call my create to do function, and now I get create to do success here. I receive a data, and now I have an object. So my next thing now is a data with a new to do. If I look in my to do here and I refresh, that's the beauty again. Now I get a text with hello and my ID and everything. And if I refresh, now I may have some kind of database set up for that. So, so now, uh, one thing, it's because I want to show a loading. So, because now it's it's quick, but we want to have some kind of loading. So inside my app here, uh, I'm gonna uh, here I'm gonna read if this that proves that to do that is fetch. So if it's not fetch or if it's not uh, uh, fulfilled, I'm gonna return error and each one say loading. So now if I refresh the screen, I'm gonna get a loading for one sec. Boom, and now I get my data. So now if I say hello world again and I click enter, I get my hello world right there. We're gonna make some kind of uh, performance stuff in the next episode I'm gonna show, but I want to stop this one. Let's start to be long, so I hope you enjoy. Uh, hope to see you in the next one. Have a good day. Bye.